Hi, I'm Sherelle Walters Rodriguez with Chesterfield County Public Library. Welcome to CCPL Get Transformed. We're in the Lothian Library today where a festival of the written word is taking place. That's one of our signature events. We have several each year. We're excited about this one because we get to partner with a few businesses in the area like Chop Suey Books. Uh, that particular organization comes around and sells and provides the books of many of the authors that are here. There are 25 authors at this festival of the written word and many of the people who are here are able to learn from actual writers on how to publish and how to write and how to go about becoming the author of their dreams. Our other partner is the Friends, Friends of Chesterfield County Public Library. Always excited to have them on board. They provide food, volunteer services, and several other things. And as you can see, Arts and Crafts, part of our Festival of the Written Word uh, program that we're very pleased to have. So don't miss some of the exciting happenings at Chesterfield County Public Library. We have several different programs and services provided just for you. Come on out and see us. We'll be looking for you. An event like the Festival of the Written Word gives me an opportunity to educate uh, new writers, frustrated writers, uh, people maybe who have given up on writing and are looking to jumpstart their this project so I'm hoping that by being here I can help these people do that. This is a, a rare gem in the Virginia Library system and I'm so honored to be a part of it. Uh, so when I got the invitation I was of course I naturally jumped on it. I was, I was so glad that a library uh, would take the lead and do a project like this and I would love to see more of it happen. Um, I've done some speaking engagements at other libraries around Virginia but I've never seen one on the scale. I think it's very important for other people, the attendees, to come and be around these writers because there's, there's a really good feeling about being around people that you feel a kinship with. And this kinship really grows at, a, at an event like this. So I'm honored to be a part of it. So when you're able to have access to free information and it be to the public and you can really, I mean, if, you, if you're really ready, you can be exposed to as many things as you want to. So I think Chesterfield offering this is a really good way to show they really care about the, the community. There's help everywhere and Chesterfield was able to offer that for free. <laughs> We'll have another Festival of the Written Word coming up in 2018. But this year we had more than 25 authors and we had workshops, panel discussions, and opportunities for you to mingle with the authors. If you are interested in writing, we have other opportunities at Chesterfield County Public Library for workshops for teens and others. And we also have an author's visit every quarter. Our next author will be Erica Armstrong Dunbar. She'll be here at the end of January come out and meet her, learn her journey as to what got her to where she is today. I have a lot of parents that come in for story time and they, you know, the kids are always asking like, I want books on princesses or I want books on bugs or pirates or something. And our collection is done by author. So it does make it a little hard for parents who don't know a certain author you know, who are only looking for a subject to find books really quickly. So the book bundles kind of help them to walk in, pick up a bundle that they like, and take it home. And it makes it a lot easier for them. You know, I have some colleagues that have helped me to kind of create new ones. I have a grandmother who has two children, but it does make it hard for her when they're both like kind of going in separate directions to find books that she wants to use. So she said she really appreciated the book bundles because she would grab like three or four of them each time she came in and it was just a lot easier for her. CCPL has not left out adults when it comes to bundling books together. We have what's called Book in a Bag, and it's for those of you who are interested in having book clubs. Take a look here. These are the bags that you can find at most of your local libraries. There are four to six books in there. There are some questions that will drive your discussion. There's a summary of what the book is all about in case you're not familiar with it, but in this case, this is a bestseller. You may not be familiar with it, so you'll have all the information at your fingertips to get your book club going.
CCPL is very interested in hearing your views about what we can do with our community. Therefore, we have a series of community engagement programs here at Meadowdale. We also have some programs that are a little less uh, let's say, serious. We have a program called Murder Mystery. That's at Clover Hill Library. That's one of our signature events. Murder Mystery has been so popular that we've gone from one day to two days. And basically what that is, is you become the detective and help solve a crime. A number of things that CCPL is doing is engaging uh, various different cultures. Of course, we have our Black History Month programming. We have some wonderful programs planned for you beginning at the end of January going into February. A couple of different programs on Frederick Douglass. We have a couple of theater productions. We have music with a wonderful trumpeter out of uh, VCU who has done very well, Victor Haskins. And we have some children friendly programs. So we encourage you to look into our Loud and Clear, which will share with you all the different types of programs we have for Black History Month. Something else that's exciting is that CCPL has a new collection called World Languages. If you're just now joining us, you're looking at the World Language Collections, one of our new offerings here at CCPL. Right now, we have the collection in Spanish, and during the springtime, we'll add some other languages. But to get a better idea of what the World Languages Collection is all about, my colleague, Maria Angel Cruz, will join me now to talk a little bit. About, I just butchered your name, and I said oh, I was going to do it. She did it. <laughs> <laughs> Maria Angel Cruz, she's teaching me Spanish, and, and therefore, she's going to teach you a little Spanish or share with our Spanish-speaking community a little bit about this World Languages collection. Hi. Hi! Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me here. Yeah, appreciate um, gracias it. por tenerme aquí. Yeah. Um, and like you said, my name is uh, Mary Angel Cruz. Mi nombre es María Ángel Cruz. Eh, y voy a estar hablándoles un poquito más sobre la colección de World Languages. Eh, es una iniciativa que tiene la biblioteca del condado de Chesterfield de, ten, de traer libros en español. La idea es que en el futuro podamos traer libros en otros idiomas. En estos momentos contamos con más de 2,300 libros. Entre ellos tenemos libros de bestsellers, tenemos libros de autores famosos, um, también tenemos libros sobre temas de película, revistas y también tenemos suscripciones a revistas como People en español y Latinas. Esta um, colección se encuentra en, de nuestras 10 bibliotecas, se encuentra en 5 de las bibliotecas. Eh, para mayor información usted puede contactar la biblioteca library.chesterfield.gov y obtener más información. Ok, so you told them how to contact us if yes. they wanted to. So let's talk about some of the other services yes. that we have. We have Transparency Languages mm -hmm. and we also have Access Video. Why don't you explain to our Spanish speaking yes, community what that means to them? Yes, Transparent Language es eh, un um, servicio que usted puede obtener en línea en el cual usted puede aprender diferentes idiomas. Entre ellos tenemos inglés para todos aquellos ¿verdad? que necesiten aprender inglés o que deseen mejorar su idioma. Eh, también hay otros idiomas como chino, mandarín, griego, entre muchos otros. Y es, todo esto es gratis, yendo a nuestra página web. Eh, y hablándoles sobre Access Video, uh -huh. es un programa gratuito en el que usted puede descargar videos en línea. Y vamos a seguir añadiendo a Transparent Languages, Access Video y World Languages. Queremos realmente que podamos proporcionar servicios a nuestra comunidad de español hablante. Así que, en adición a those products and services, we do have the opportunity for our Spanish-speaking community to come to Meadowdale Library. Yes. So talk a little bit about what's offered here at Meadowdale mm -hmm. Library where we are today. Sí. Ahora mismo en la biblioteca de Meadowdale, contamos con empleados, con bibliotecarios que hablan español. Eh, así que si usted desea eh, eh, trabajar con alguno de estos bibliotecarios, solamente necesita llamar a la biblioteca y sacar una cita y muy, gustosamente se le atenderá, ¿verdad? algún bibliotecario que hable español lo atenderá. Okay, thank you very much. You're Maria. welcome. Gracias. Gracias. <laughs> so as you can see, we're working toward that goal because it's so important for us to be able to reach all our communities. So CCPL is here for you. Whether you speak English, Spanish, or another language, we encourage you to contact us to get more information or to see what's available for you and your family. So what about the steps to getting some of these things? How, do, how does our community get these yes. things? It's pretty easy, it's bien fácil. Solamente necesita tres eh, documentos. Necesita eh, llenar una forma que la tenemos en español y en inglés disponibles en cualquiera de nuestras bibliotecas. También puede ir a library.chesterfield.gov y obtener esta forma. Eh, necesitará un ID con su foto y, un, y una carta con su dirección actual. 
Gracias. De nada. <laughs> Most all of our locations have some form of a business suite. We're here at Meadowdale, and Meadowdale Library is known for its business service suite, where it has a various different equipment and products and services that will help you build your business. In fact, over the next couple of months, there are several different workshops, such as resume building, how to do some networking, how to build your business. We also partner with an organization called SCORE. The business has evolved. Now there are social media platforms. There's Facebook, there's LinkedIn, there's Twitter, and the library has helped me to become more proficient with them. Here I've learned how to set up a Facebook page, how to share Facebook pages, how to create my LinkedIn account. We mentor startups and small business owners, so the library just gives us an ideal place to do it. So from the standpoint of Chesterfield County, if we can help a business start here, grow here, then the money that is spent here with other suppliers and so forth creates a certain amount of economic impact. And the library system gives us places that we can meet clients. Well, as you've seen, Chesterfield County Public Library has lots of programs and resources for you. We also have something else called Your Personal Librarian. Now, you can find out more information about that by going to our webpage. On the banner, there's Learning and Research. If you click on that, you'll get some information about Your Personal Librarian. Now, what is that? That is an opportunity for you to have one-on-one -on -one contact or tutoring from one of our librarians, and he or she will walk you you through something that you would like to know something about. For example, if you're entering the workforce for the first time or the first time in a while, he or she can help you with a resume or some other things that might assist you. Now we had a wonderful woman by the name of Glenda who took advantage of the learning plan and worked with one of our librarians, Erica, and she got some information on what she can do with all this fabulous music she's been creating over the past decade. I had no idea that anything would ever get any farther than my kitchen or to the church, you know. And then fell by the way come, and songs started coming to me. Laureen, our customer service supervisor, had just helped her find a book, and she was interested in learning more about computers, Glenda was, and um, Laureen told her about the Your Personal Librarian appointments. I must have talked more than I should have and said something about songs or learn how to do my songs or something. And she was just telling Glenda about that when we happened to our paths crossed and Laureen was like, oh, Erica. I was just telling her about the Your Personal Librarians. This is Glenda. And she has been nothing but pure joy and uplifting and someone that makes me feel like that I'm really kind of whole in a way because it's brought the light to my love, which is the Lord and His music <laughs> and stories. I got stories too that He gave me to write. She told me she has songs she's been working on since the 1960s. And the first one was kind of silly little song, something about in my heart or something maybe from a child, I don't know. But then when He gave me Think of Calvary, it really was a song. She told me that she's beginning to get more comfortable with the idea of putting her music out there in the world. We've done two songs so far that you can listen to on SoundCloud. You are one who fell by the way. I want you to know that. I'm a little frightened because I'm not technology savvy at all. But I'm so happy that she's given me a chance to do something with them because I felt like I just want to uplift people. She's got a, a light inside of her that I'm so glad that she's able to share with the world now. And I'm so happy for her that she feels good enough and strong enough and like she has something that she can share. Everybody has something they can share. I think if you're a human being, you are a creative person. And I think somebody like Glenda can make us all 
braver and help us all share that part of ourselves. Well, if you'd like to take advantage of the learning plan, again, go to our homepage, go into learning and research, and you can get some information on setting up an appointment with one of our librarians. We're looking forward to seeing you at one of our libraries. We have plenty. I'm sure there's one in your neighborhood. You could also access that information at library.chesterfield.gov or go to our Loud and Clear publication, which gives you information about where we're located and all the programs and services just for you. I'm Sherelle Walters-Rodriguez, and you've been watching CCPL Get Transformed.